Hey guys, I'm Zach and this is GG Fist Bump. In this tutorial video, I'll be showing you how to place PS2 ISOs over 4GB into your USB flash drive so that you can play it on your free MacBook memory card. But first, roll the intro. If you want to know how to use free MacBoot on your PS2, check out my video about it. I'll place a link on the description down below. Now before we move on with the tutorial, it would really help if you would click on subscribe then hit on that notification bell to stay up to date with my latest videos. Let's start! Okay, so you'll probably encounter this error if you try dragging a file over 4GB into your USB flash drive. It will say that the file is too large for the destination file system. That's because of the fact that the USB is formatted into FAT32, and FAT32 only limits the file sizes up to uh, around 4GB. Well, it's a little over 4GB, but you get the point. Okay, let's just close this. Now to solve that, you need a program called USB Util. I'll place a link in the description down below. But in case that is down, let's just go to Google and search for USB Util. Okay, then let's just uh, choose one of the links here. And let's download the file. Okay, so this is the program. Let's just choose the English version. I think this is version 2.2. and click on download so it's just around 807 kilobytes okay so once that's downloaded open your downloads folder and extract the file open the folder then open the usb util program click on ok go to file then create game from iso Next, locate your PS2 ISO over 4GB. So mine is at the PS2 games folder. Click on the game. So this is bully.iso. Next, choose the location where to extract the file. So I'll place it directly on the root of my USB flash drive. You can also choose the name for the uh, PS2 game. So I won't change bully anymore. Then click on create. Now if you'll be adding games via the USB util method, place all the files directly into the root of the flash drive. But if it's an untouched ISO, place the ISO inside the DVD folder. Now what this program actually does is that it splits the file into 1GB portions. Of course for the game to run, you need to have all portions of the same game in one folder. So just wait for this to finish and let me just forward this video. Okay, so now click on Serar, that's close, and you will see that Bully is already there. I'll show you how it looks like in the USB flash drive. Let's just close this, then open. The flash drive okay so here we'll see that it created different files this is not the usual um, ISO, ISO file but if we'll look at the total there we go that's it's 4.31 gigabytes now let's go to my PS2 and test it out okay so let's open the PS2 up with the USB flash drive inserted into your PS2 then wait for free MacBoot to load. Okay, let's scroll down to Open PS2 Loader or OPL.
and there you'll see Bully and Tekken Tag Tournament. Let's open Bully. It's taking a while to load but it will load up. Then there, there's the intro to Bully. It's made by Rockstar Games, the same makers as Grand Theft Auto. Here's the intro. So Rockstar Games presents, but let's just skip it. And there's the title to Bully. So that's it. It works. Now just one last piece of advice. If your game stays black for more than 2 minutes, then try to defrag the file. Do that if necessary. And with that, I think we're done. If you found this video helpful, interesting, or entertaining, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel, then hit on that notification bell for more content just like this. Again, I'm Zach, and this is GG Fistbump.